Hi, um, I didn't know if I was gonna make this video or not, but um, I'm gonna turn off my monitor so I can not have a glare on me. Um, I didn't know if I was gonna make this video or not, but um, I feel like I I'm having the urge to because um, for those who are working on a dub space emissary with me, you guys know that there's been some chaos going on lately, and part of it is due to my actions, and I do. Apologies for that, but I wanted to make a, an update video because um, it's related to some bad news regarding the Dubspace Emissary, but also good news regarding another project um, that's also been in the works. Um, but um, I just wanted to make this video to, um, to just, because I know things haven't been organized on the channel, and I'm making this video because I'm not going to mention names because that's not who I am, but... Um, there's probably been some things going on, go, been going around about me on the internet, li online lately. Um, things that people said my about said about me that might seem like seem bad. Some things people said about me that might be good. Um, but there's chaos right now on, in in the community on my channel. Um, not all, not everywhere, but just in some parts. And some people may be thinking. Oh, well, why are you making this video? Honestly, you should just come clean and just say who you really are. And it's like, the truth is, we never we'll never really get to know the person behind the screen unless we get to meet them in real life. Doesn't mean we can't like them. Doesn't mean we can't hang out with them online. That just doesn't mean that we truly can assume who they really are unless we really get to know them in reality. Um, and what I'm trying to say is, Basically, this is basically a video where I'm just ranting, I'm ranting, basically, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of preaching right now, so, um, please forgive me, um, I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't do these things, I'm not saying that you should do these things, I'm not trying to make anyone do anything, but I'm here to say that, um, what I'm here to say is that you don't really get to know, you don't really know who the person behind the screen, unless you get, to, unless you know them. Like get to know them in reality because the thing is we don't truly know people through the internet unless we actually get to like see them in person because just texting to someone through um a discord dm or talking to someone just or seeing someone through a screen i mean of course if it's people like markiplier and like jacksepticeye celebrities then that can be a different story but only if it's um only if it's established right. Um, so what I'm here to say is that people may be saying on online right now that I may not be the best person. I may be someone who can come, who may come off to be rude. Some people may say that I'm someone who is there for anyone who um, is feeling down or left alone or like feeling alone. But I'm here to say that whatever your opinion is about me or whatever your opinion is about anyone else. I won't judge it and um people are people have been going around i'm why am i and you're all probably thinking well kind of why is this video why are you making this video this video seems unnecessary but i'm like well that's the thing i feel like this video is necessary to make because i feel like there comes a time and a place when something is worth fighting for and Sometimes you gotta step back and think about for a minute. Is it really worth fighting for? Is it really worth the argument or worth the controversy to um, try and fight for it or to try and bring attention to it if it won't resolve anything or if it isn't going to make anything better? Because from the great word to Dr. Seuss, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. And he's right. Because sometimes... Mm -hmm fighting for sometimes when we like some people on the on the community are thinking that i'm trying to be someone who's trying to like fight for others and that's i i that's kind of my personality i try to be there for others and i don't really make time for myself but recently i've been trying to make more time for myself to try and take care of myself too while also being there for others and a lot of people think that i'm not doing it the right way and you're right and that's because we're human we make mistakes, but we also learn in the best way that we can. So that's why, as a community, we need to be there for each other, regardless of the 
choices we make and before i get more into information on the channel like and the status of projects um i just want to talk about this just for a couple more minutes and saying that um we need to be conscientious of the situations and the um the controversies that we're in and we need to be aware that sometimes not everything can be resolved and sometimes um even if it's a person through a screen sometimes we just need to let go and it's hard it's hard to let go trust me i've i've been there some people may think that i haven't been there but i have and sometimes it's best to just leave a topic of discussion or to leave um a certain um a certain problem alone than to continue trying to fix something that can't be fixed and some and a lot of people on, on like a lot of people that i've known throughout the past couple of years think that well just because you're able to get through something so easily doesn't mean that i can and that's true because the impact could be much greater on others than the person because let me let me rephrase that like sometimes when we leave an impact on someone we need to leave a good impact we don't want to leave a bad impact on someone because when we leave a bad impact on someone we may the person who had left the impact on that person may never know how bad the damage has been done onto them and that's something that i have learned actually throughout the past year to be honest um and a lot of people some not a lot of people but some people um do think that i haven't learned and that i can't change but the the thing the, the thing is anyone can change anything can change for greater good or for worse and we just gotta try and ensure that while knowing if it's um worth solving or if it can be solved that um we can th make sure that we can understand each other's flaws from each other and just understand that hey this person may not be perfect this person may have done some terrible things but that doesn't mean that there's not a way that we can forgive them and there's not that doesn't mean that there isn't a way that we can resolve some because no matter how bad a person may be or no matter what that person may have done there's always a way to find forgiveness or there is a way to resolve something whether that be for that person to do a favor in return or they just straight up apologize forgive someone and it may be hard for someone it may be hard for people to forgive others for what they've done and it's it's that's true and i guess what i'm trying to say is is if you're someone who is constantly trying to get like get some sort of point across or if you're trying to fight for some something or trying to stand out and say hey this is what's going down this is what is happening and you need to see this and sometimes not everyone not everyone can get along and that's that's the that's one of the things that suck about our world and and some people can make certain certain controversies and situations at be like if someone just killed someone and it's like some situations aren't that bad and we don't need to make it out as if it's the end of the world or if it's someone just murdered someone else and we need to understand that everyone everyone is still learning like heck even people in their 50s are still learning and that's the thing is that we need to understand that we need to for like a lot of people think that not everyone deserves forgiveness or not everyone deserves mercy but the honest truth is and you, a lot some some of you may disagree with me but everyone deserves forgiveness i think i believe that everyone can deserves forgiveness or deserves mercy regardless of like the past mistake i mean the past mistakes do <laughs> still matter in a way but the fact is is that we can't continue to hold the grudge and we can't continue to fight against or fight for some for someone if they um are the ones who 
are not wanting to try and negotiate in the way that in the way that would have them um try and get back on track on good terms or in the way that would have them be able to connect with others um in a better way than they have before and so what i'm trying to say is that don't fight for something if you've been fighting for it like if you've been what i'm trying to say is if you've been fighting for something for so long and nothing has gotten better maybe it maybe it's gotten to the turning point to where maybe it's just time to let go and it's time to move on and i know it's hard for people to move on but honestly if you're struggling right now and you're just trying you're fine you're just it's hard for you to try and get through life right now you just gotta keep that chin up keep your back straight keep your shoulders relaxed and look forward and that's hard for people but you can do it and i believe you can now i now i'm probably didn't say that in the best way that a lot of people would understand but i hope i said it in the way that would make sense to you and i just hope that we can try and re try and fix some of this chaos that's going on in the, in the community and some of it is on my behalf and i do apologize for that and i hope we can try and get our community back back in the shape that it was before now enough of the negative stuff now on to some of the bad news so I've decided to put the Dubspace Emissary in hold um, for a, a while just because I feel like I was overthinking it a bit um, during production. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, everything, like, the only thing left we still gotta do is record, but our recording sessions haven't been the best. And I feel like we need to try and go back to your drawing board um, when it comes to recording and voice and voice direction. So we're gonna take um, take a probably a couple months on trying to reorganize that. But to caveat but the caveat of that in a good way is um we are working on another dub that um is actually just about ready to go for recording and that one's going to be in an episode format um and i'm going to be showing a sneak peek of that after this at when this video ends but um i just want to say right now that our community is in the best shape and i want to try and improve it in the best way i can in the best way that we all together can because i know that we can i know that we can cooperate and that we we all can work together in a way that will bring us together um back in the community that we that we that we were and we have been um before and i i do i i do truly care for all of you and i do truly care for every single one who tunes into a stream who watches my video you guys you guys i mean even though you see me through a screen, you don't really know who I am in reality. Like, because, trust me, like, I do. there are a few friend, people on the Discord server who do know me in real life and who know me in reality um, than just behind a screen. And the majority of people don't. But we can't assume who they are unless we get to know them. And it's hard to trust people on the internet. Don't, don't get me wrong. You, it's really hard. To, like, you probably shouldn't. The, the rules of the internet have been to not trust pe people on the internet, but sometimes you can, but it comes to a certain point and a certain level you can trust them. Um, so when I'm like, should you like, I'm not saying trust them with your phone number or your real name. Absolutely not. But like trust them with like, um, timing and, um, friendships, that kind of stuff. It doesn't have to be on a personal level. It can just be on like. A casual level so um just know that if there's someone out there who is fighting against you <clears throat> or if you're fighting for them and you've been going on with this battle with one or one or two more or even more people um for a long time now then there comes a certain point where it's time to let go and it's hard to let go but i know you can and i believe in you so just know that it's going to be hard, but just know there's a better fight out you out there for you than the fight that you may be fighting for now. And I know you can do it. So that's all I have to really say for this video. Um, I really do appreciate you for listening if you did um, all the way through. <clears throat> I know that I don't really make this kinds of preach preaching videos, um, but... I feel like I need to make this because I just wanted to call it out and I probably didn't explain it in the best way I did, but 
I'm not really good at talking about these things, but if you, I hope you did understand it. If you did, um, just know I'm not calling out anyone. I'm not upset at anyone. I'm not frustrated with anyone. I'm not angry at anyone. Um, I guess right now I'm just trying to focus on what needs to be fixed and fo focusing on what we need to move on from and what and what we need to look forward to. So again, I really do appreciate you for listening. <clears throat> um, I'm going to try and push out more content the best way I can. Next couple weeks are going to be a little bit busy. But um, after that, I'm going to try and go back full bore um, with making content. And I um, hope to see you guys. Um, hope you guys are excited for the future content. So, thanks again. I'm gonna rest my voice because I'm my voice is dead, <laughs> and um, I'll be seeing you guys soon. Take care.